So we've bought these windows from a company called Shield something or other. I'll put the name up there anyway so we don't get it wrong. And they have arrived. We've, we've got two boxes. I've already opened one box and had a little mess on with them. But you've got zero instructions with it. Uh, I had a little look on the internet and I found a fella who was having a go at doing it. And he wasn't 100% sure either. So... I'll open it up and I'll show you what we've got. It sort of comes in four parts, really. This has got some uh, screws and some rubber trimming. So we have a window which is going to be fitting into the back of the van. It's a sliding window. It does open and shut. It does a nice lock on the inside. It's... Uh, quite substantial there's some weight in it it's uh shield what do they call the company i'm reading it back to front shield auto care that's who it is so yeah it feels great but the lack of instructions was a bit daunting really uh, so you've got this part and then you've got an inner part which goes on there over the wood surround on the inside that fits on there and then in here we have the bit which you will see on the inside and this is the part which we'll see on the inside so now this this part which is in two parts that fits over the top of that but I don't know whether you can see I'll just lift that bit up square peg round hole situation kind of thing so you're always going to be able to see through these corner bits here which is a bit of a rubbish design really i'm sorry guys where it is pretty rubbish uh, and you've got to work out how that fits on there and none of it lines up believe me it doesn't so i've got some instructions uh i'm gonna have a go i'll show you what i did before I got the instructions. This is one I made earlier. <laughs> so I was hoping that this would substitute the thickness of the van metal. This is the inner frame. So you, you poke that through. You don't have much leeway with the hole size. Let's look at that. So there's that part which is screwed on. Didn't quite get that screw in, and I don't know whether you can see there. I think I've tightened it up a little bit too tight because it's actually deformed the metal a bit. So, hand do it. They are Phillips screws, by the way, not posi drive. So, uh, make sure we use the right screwdriver, or this will happen. It'll get stuck in there. We're going to cut a hole in the van. We're going to poke that through. We're going to stick it on. <sighs> so, yeah. That was the best I could come up with and see what happens. I'm scared. So I got onto the company and uh, the nice lady did send me some instructions. They're not the best instructions in the world, but what they're saying is the aperture in the van has to be four millimeters longer on one side and three millimeters longer on the uh, depth. So four millimeters on the length three millimeters on the depth. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use this bit of uh, hardwood, hardboard, that came with the windows as packaging. I'm gonna draw around it and then I'm just gonna add on the three and four millimeters. I think that's about the best way to do it. And then hopefully we'll get the curve, will be the same. So now I'm just going to add on four millimetres on one side and three millimetres on the depth. Now I've got this new uh, set square thinking this will be good. <laughs> and I was uh, doing some measurements the other day, but those aren't millimetres. They are two millimetres, them markings. God knows why. Never seen that before in my life. Right, so there's a couple of ways we can do the corner. We can use a compass we can put the window back on and draw around it again. 
line it up with them lines. Looks about right. And the same on the bottom. So there you've got it. Three mil extra room there, four mil extra room there. So I'm going to cut that out with the jigsaw now <laughs> and see how we go. This is the inner frame what I made by the way. Uh, it's supposed to be, it says the windows are designed for 30mm thick so I made that a little bit less than 30mm to allow for the width. And I just screwed it together with some nice big screws and it's uh, make sure it's square and it's, it's very very firm. It's not going anywhere. I didn't use glue, I'm sure it'll be fine. But you can use glue. I'm going to go as careful as I can because I've been told from one of my other videos that I'm pushing too hard when I'm using the jigsaw and that's why it's going off on an angle. I didn't think I was but I'll give it a go. Slow as possible. Eh? Let's have a look, see if it fits. Now what it says in the instructions is these, uh, these rubber doodars is to tape them to the glass. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm just going to tape them off. You can see they're just pushed into this ridge here, so you can tape them off. Right, so this should just pop straight over that. It does. So what you have to do is, I bought the uh, stick and seal, I think they call it. It's theirs. Give this a clean. Clean the van as well. You're going to have to put a layer of the sticky stuff all the way around here. And then just pop that into the aperture and see what happens. I think the next bit is a scary bit. I'm going to draw around that template and uh, put a hole in the van. Right, so I'm happy with the, uh, the template. I've measured from there to there, and there to there, and it's the same, and it looks, by eye, it looks pretty much the same, so we've taped it on. I'm just gonna draw around it now. <laughs> now I'm gonna drill through it and uh, jigsaw it out. Eek. We're gonna do it from, the, we've chose to do it from the inside, that's why we've covered all this area up. Uh, just because of the height thing really, it's the van's too high really. I would need a, some kind of platform because I'm such a shorty. But, oh well then, let's get on with it. Uh. Right, here you go, it's hole in the van time. <laughs> I'm going to drill a few holes in around the corner areas. Not too high. There's a hole in the van. Oh no! No going back now. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, you bastard. <laughs> right, I'm just going to drill this hole a little bit bigger. So I can get the uh, jigsaw blade in. <laughs> Bluntest blade in the world, I'm afraid. Uh. Oh, let's see if the blade will go through that. Cut myself again. Right, so I had a little tip from, uh, is it Melder the call it? Mel yeah. Big Van Small Well? Small Well Big Van? I don't know. I can't yeah. remember, really. But he says, uh, take the foot off the jigsaw and just use the uh, the little metal a wheel? roller metal wheel, wheel thing to do it. Supposedly you've got more control. Well, we will see, won't we? Why oh, don't try another bit in the middle? Broken. <laughs> 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 right, off to screw fix it is. So I've decided I'm going to use the grinder to go along the straight bits and these bits here. Then obviously I'll have to use the uh, doodah, what's it called? Jigsaw to go around the corners. So we've got stuff covered up a bit. It's going to be a bit sparky. Watch your eyes. 
we'll see how it goes. Rocket. Snacking here. <laughs> 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 I can see the bins. <laughs> Tip did its job then. So we have a hole in the van. Let's see if it fits, eh? What have we done? I don't know. <laughs> right, let's try this window in. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Doesn't go in. No. <laughs> it's too small. Well, it fits. I just needed a little bit of persuasion. Right, just give it a quick sanding. <laughs> Brenda's just doing a bit of artistic work around the window, a bit of finesse. Oh, He's just God. going over the uh, no drips. Well, you've got too much on them. I saw some guy use just a little cotton wool oh, okay. pad. Right, I'll go and do that then. This is the stuff we're using, it's just amorite, white smooth, rust protection y kind of thing. And I'm using a little cotton board just to go around. Brenda's going to do the coffee. You can see how many filings are actually on there. So it's a good job we put it on because it really does stick yeah. to the vehicle and rust it off. So be careful when you're taking it off. So while the window is in position, I just went around with some masking tape. So when we stick it in, any goo that spreads out, we'll just be able to pull the tape off and that should be fine. Now we have to go around this channel here with the stick and seal stuff. We made a nice little nozzle. <laughs> I hope it goes right. <laughs> well, we will see. Let's do it. Goggles on because you're supposed to do it in one continuous go. And where to start and where to stop. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Eddie from Yugo van and he's having a bit of a shout. Oh, it's all over me, man. Oh. Right, I'm just going round with the stick and seal along the edge, just sealing up anywhere that I think might need a little bit on. So I just went around the wooden frame with the stick and seal and there was just the right amount left in the tube. Don't forget to put the rubber buffers back on. All right, I'm going to put this one on now and then we have to fasten the other metal piece to it. I know it was tight before, so... This bit goes on there, and they screw into there, and that holds it all together. Now it's just lining these up. Because I'd already tried it, there's already some holes <laughs> in position. Well, it was going in great until That screw head just snapped off without hardly any pressure whatsoever. But essentially that is the window in. Now the rest of it is just putting the, uh, the blind on. Which when you see the fitting, you'd be like, what the hell? I mean, you're always going to see these gaps here. 
because the outer frame's square and it doesn't fit. Bonkers. Brenda will demonstrate. So that is the fit and when the blinds closed it'll look super duper. But can you see in the corners? I don't know. It's just bonkers. Bonkers meat! But uh, once it's shut, you know, it's going to look fine. You won't see anything. Oh, by the way, we've got Eddie the Van Dog. He's not our Van Dog. He's Hugo Van's Van Dog. But he's come to stop with us for a few hours, haven't he? I'm not sure he's very happy, though. Are you, mate? You're not very happy. You're wagging your tail. What you saying? Yeah, that goes on there. You have to fasten that on, so none of these screws line up with anything. So you've just got to work out how to put it on. And then the uh, the outer frame, which is that, that, uh, that goes on it. So I'm going to do that now, just so we can see the finished product. So Brenda's just trying to put the rubber seal in so you don't see the screws going around. Yeah, if you're careless, make like a tube and then it goes in. You must have more strength than me. Of course. So that's the trim all in now. It was a bit chewy to do, but it's in. You just need to cut it off and get a nice clean finish. Looks a lot better. So what this says is, and I've, I've popped up and down twice to read the instructions. These inner holes on the sides are supposed to screw into here. But there isn't any holes for it to screw into. And it says the top holes, which are here, they screw into the wooden frame. But they don't, because they line up with the outside of that. It's just a really crap design. So if I get that level, it's the same on both sides. Them holes don't line up with the wood. I can try, but I don't think they will. Uh, just rubbish. And do you see what I mean about how you can see through there? It's just absolutely garbage. But we bought them now and they're in. <laughs> it's a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> right, so that was absolutely garbage. There's no way that these holes line up with the timber. They actually line up with the outer frame. And I've just screwed them in and self-tapped them in. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to try screwing into there. I might try one. I'm going to try one in the middle here and see. We're not near the glass, so it can't break the glass. Yeah. snapped. I'll try going a bit slower. No. Because no. I think we're going into the screws that are underneath. Well as you've seen I've tried screwing into there and I think I'm going on top of other screws. It's just hopeless isn't it? Um, but I'm going to put this on and hopefully the three screws in the top and the three screws in the bottom will be strong enough. I'm pretty damn sure it is. If not, I'll take them out and put some longer screws in. So, right, I'm going to take, take these out. Oh. And now allegedly these holes in here, I don't know whether you can see the, can you see the holes? They're supposed to line up with them and them. They look like they do. So I don't know what screws I'm supposed to use because we certainly haven't got uh, we haven't got 14 screws. Right, I've tried I've tried putting one of these screws in there and it, it's not even hitting the timber there, it's hitting the metal underneath. It's hopeless. These ones are going to go into the timber. So Brenda's going to hold it in place. Oh, 
Right, so I've got a couple of screws. I've got four screws in the top, two screws. I was trying to say I've got two screws in the bottom, which is plenty for now, but we went into slow motion again. So that's pretty much it installed. Uh, it looks all right. I can see a few faults. Um, if your Brenda comes round here, you can see edges there. You can see screw walls there. And this is, you know, it fits to the inner case by four screws on the top. So they have to line up with the screws that are screwed. The screws that are already pre-drilled. Not much else you can do about it. So it's not the way I've lined it up. It's the way it's come. Hey ho, it's in. We have a lovely fly screen. And that pretty much blocks out all of the light. I've been whinging about the, you can see down the corners and the holes, but it's so dark in the shadows, you can't really see. I could get a black paintbrush in and paint in there or something, do something, might do it different on the other side. So I painted this one black just so you don't see, you know when you can see through the carved corners, uh, you know it might be just less obvious I think. <laughs> I don't know so yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching uh, looks good from the outside it's pretty straight I've just measured it from the top on either side and it's pretty much identical so don't forget give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and if you've learned anything and uh, you might want to use this product I don't know if you do I'll leave the uh, link I got them from eBay but you can get them direct I guess from them but yeah, so that's it. Thanks a lot for watching and we will catch you next time.